The Faith Academy Flames look to add win number 11 to their undefeated season on Friday. The win would also be their first playoff victory as an 11-man school. Head coach Russ Roberts said that Houston Cypress Christian presents challenges to the Flames they haven't seen in nearly a month. I think that we will dance with who brung us. Uh, you know, obviously there's a few things we don't do. There's a few drills that we don't do anymore because uh, it, it's too much. It's too it's too much physical pounding on the kids. But the the basic part of practice, we're doing the same thing now. We're running the same plays, and uh, I think that's that's the key. I think a lot of a lot of coaches uh, do start changing a lot in the playoffs, and I think you know sometimes there's a good reason, but more often than not, I think it's a mistake. They are spread offense, and they throw the ball between 60 and 80 percent of the time. Texas School for the Deaf threw the ball all, almost that much, and uh, and then uh, St. Gerard's ended up throwing that much against us. They had not done it previously. They had been a running team, and the night we played them, they decided to throw the ball, and uh, they gave us a they gave us a scare because they were able to get some receivers open. Um, and uh, sure enough, Cy, Cy Christian asked for the St. Gerard's film. They wanted to, they wanted to see uh, how they did it. So so there, there won't be any secrets. They, they'll they'll be trying to attack us the same way that uh, St. Gerard's. Uh, I think they're 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 a good looking squad. They've got some good looking players. Uh, they're quick. They seem to be aggressive. Uh, I think that th their problem is that they have played mostly passing teams. They've not played that many running teams, and I think that uh, we would probably come under the heading of a running team. And I think it's going to give them trouble. I think the team that wants this game, as I told you before, uh, there's no guarantees that these young men are hungry and that they really want this game enough to win it. I think they do, and I think if they come out and, and play that way, I think we're going to be successful. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you get kids that, that think, well, you know, boy, I'm, I'm really tired of coming to practice, or, you know, I'd like to get on to the gym, or, or I'd like to, you know, do this or do that or, or whatever, and, they, and they, lose, they lose part of their motivation. And, and if we lose any part of it, uh, it'll cost us and, and, and our season will be cut short. After finishing off an undefeated regular season, the community support to keep this magical season going for the Flames is something Roberts believes will help his team come game time. For the Picayune TV, I'm Jared Fields.